we want to hear from two women who have experienced it, what's happening in Syria today. Heba, last August, your hometown was one of the places that was attacked with chemical weapons. Yes. Take us back to that day and what you saw and what you witnessed. That day, we were a plate, uh, me and my cousin, preparing some, some kind of activities to the kids. We were wor working with them. Uh, we heard on the internet that uh, chemical attack uh, hit the eastern Ghouta. And then, uh, after an hour, we hear that uh, a similar attack uh, hit my town. We were hearing the, uh, the, the missiles and the, you know, the uh, bombing all the nights, but we didn't recognize that uh, this uh, bombing this night is different from uh, any other nights before. It's, it's carrying uh, gases and serene gases. So uh, after, after half an hour, we start feeling dizzy. We start, uh, uh, our noses, our uh, eyes were running, so uh, we recognize that there's something, uh, something different in the air. And uh, we rushed to the other rooms and we waked up all uh, the families member and uh, um, the kids. Uh, we tried to, to help them to put some kind of wet, uh, wetted uh, scarves on their noses. And then we, we decided to... Were your throats burning, eyes burning at this point? Yeah, and they, um, our noses were running, you know, we couldn't breathe uh, uh, well, and uh, we, we find some difficulties in breathing. So, uh, but we, we didn't uh, imagine that um, it would be worse. And we decided to go to the medical field the hospital to, to help there, uh, because we, were, uh, we, we used to be nurses, at, the, at that uh, hospital. So uh, we rushed to the hospital and tried to, uh, to help. At the, uh, on our way, it took us uh, usually five minutes to get there, but because of the heavy bombing and shelling, it, it took us uh, 20 minutes. Uh, I remember when we arrived at that neighborhood, uh, I saw dozens of corpses on the streets for women and, and men and children. Uh, I, I just remember myself screaming and yelling out and saying, oh God, oh God, I was, I was so shocked. I didn't imagine to see that, that view. Um, when I get closer, I saw people spasming in a, you know, in a very scary way, frightening way. Um, I was afraid of them. And then I saw one of the doctors at the door of the hospital. He said, he banned Amina, she was with me, my cousin, uh, go to the go to the uh, hospital and try to help. Uh, downstairs, uh, the hospital is it's like a uh, basement, 300 square meters basement. And it was full of people, uh, injured people, dead people. Uh, people were crying, screaming, cr um, shouting, trying to wake up their relatives. It was very scary, very, very scary situation and horrible.